Christopher Nolan's Interstellar is awash with fascinating science, some of it great, some of it mm, a bit more out there. Matthew McConaughey and his team travel far across the universe to a supermassive black hole called Gargantua in a tiny fraction of the time it would normally take. The reason is they make use of a wormhole, a tunnel between two points in space that does away with that annoying commute between galaxies. Now, wormholes have been theorized to exist since the 1920s, and the good news is that general relativity, Albert Einstein's super successful way of trying to understand how gravity works in the universe, actually doesn't rule them out. The bad news is that we've never found one, and we don't really know how to make one of our own. Yet. While we're waiting on that, at least we can study the black holes. Black holes are extremely dense objects, incredibly heavy, billions of times the mass of the sun at their maximum, and yet they fit into incredibly small regions of space. They are inherently invisible due to how any light that gets close to them gets absorbed, but we can still observe them. One of the ways that we can do that is by using radio telescopes dotted around the Earth, combining them together into a telescope that is effectively the size of our entire planet, known as the Event Horizon Telescope, and then stare at these supermassive black holes, watching the gas being absorbed into the black hole. It may not be a wormhole, but at least we've been studying Gargantua's siblings for years and we expect to find out a lot more still.